Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're giving Michaela McAllister a makeover using Michaela's Electric Styling Head Doll. We can put on some makeup, we can style her hair, change her nails, and there's a cool feature where her hair will raise and it will teach us a little bit more about static electricity. Let's get her out of the box. And we get a few accessories here. It comes with this purple brush, which I think is so cute, and it says nerd. Very pretty. We also get a little white bowl. We get a little paintbrush, and it is really, really soft. And it comes with three pigments. We get blue, yellow, and pink. We'll be using these to make the makeup. We get a spatula and a base. And it's kind of like a creamy, shimmery. And we can use this on our own face as well. We'll start by putting batteries so we can get the styling head to work. Here is Michaela out of the box and her hair is so beautiful you guys. It's so soft and it's just great quality. I really like how they did her eyebrows and her eyes, her freckles. She definitely has a very natural look. She has a really cute t-shirt that she wears on the show that says, I didn't know what to wear today so I put on this t-shirt. And here we have the instructions. We're going to start by brushing her hair and getting all of the knots out so we can try the static electricity button. And her hair is all ready. Now all we have to do is press on the little button here and let it start. It's a little bit loud. The styling head is a motor that rubs two materials together. That process makes the hair negatively charged. Like charges repel each other, causing each of the hairs to move away from each other. And that causes the appearance of the hair standing up. It's so, so cool. And as soon as we stop pressing on the button, the hair will start to go down and we can just style it and it will be perfectly back to normal. That was a really fun feature, I think. And here she is already, we can start doing her makeup. And we're going to be using a little bit of the base and we're going to be using the pigments. So I'm just going to open up this shimmery base for our makeup. And I'm going to just start by using a tiny bit. And this on its own is like a really natural highlighter for your face. Like a cream highlight. Get everything out. And now we're going to start using the pink pigment. I'm not sure how much I need to use. I guess it depends on how um, intense you want the color to be. But we're going to start off pretty natural mix it all up and it's not blending as well as I would like it to but we'll, we'll see how it looks when it's on. I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand because it still looks very much like a silvery instead of pink and yeah I think that's why you get so much pigments so you can really use a lot and make it more intense. So I'm adding some more and then we're gonna start trying it on Michaela. And we can start putting it on her eyes. 
So I'm just going to put a tiny bit on her crease. And it is very natural, but it's a beautiful color. I think it's going to look very nice on little girl's eyes if you want to have like a very natural glowy look. I'm going to be blending so you don't see any like lumps or harsh lines. And look how pretty. It's very, very subtle, but I think it is so, so beautiful. Let's do the same thing to the other eye. And as, it feels like that's a little bit darker than the first eye. Just gonna blend it all out. We can also use this as a cream highlighter. A lot of people like to wear that. Let's put some on her cheekbones, on top of her cheekbones, and blending it with our finger. And let's do the same on the other side. Oh, there's a little too much, so let's blend it to make it more natural. And also down the bridge of her nose and on the tip. I feel like I'm doing a makeup tutorial on YouTube. <laughs> this is really fun to do though, and it's a great practice. Michaela McAllister is getting an Instagram model makeover. <laughs> we can put some more on the tip of her nose. Looks so pretty. And also on her cupid's bow and on her lip. So, so pretty. Now, they say that we can do the same thing for her nails. I'm going to be adding a little bit of a blue pigment to try to make it darker. And I'm not sure how this will work on her nails. I like the mixture though of the two colors. Because I think it's too oily and pasty to be like a nail polish. But we'll try it out. Just like the instructions say. I'm going to add a little bit more to make it more intense. And it's getting really, really lumpy. We can start trying it now. You can see here that they say that you can paint the nails, but I believe that's just regular nail polish. There's no way that this pigment will do that. And as you can see, it's just very sheer. And I guess it is kind of fun if you want to be able to just remove it afterwards with a wipe. But they also say that you can use your own nail polish if you want. And I think that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to use one of my favorite hot pink nail polishes. And the first hand is finished, now we can do the other hand. And after you're done, you can just remove it with a little bit of nail polish remover. Just make sure that you don't use too much. And it looks so pretty. You can also use like a glue base before the nail polish to just peel it off. And now we can do her hair. And I'm going to give her my go-to hairstyle. We're going to make a little braid on the side. And pin it to the back using a little bobby pin. And I love this for school or just to hang out. It's really nice, but it gets the hair away from your face. And here's Michaela's new look. I really love her braid and her makeup. It's super natural, but it does give her like a nice glow. And I'm going to use what we have left from that little mix that we tried to use on the nails. And I'm going to intensify her eye makeup a little bit using the blue on the outer corner. And here she is, you guys. Michaela is all ready. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this doll. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.